Hi, it's Dwyer, richarddwyer.com. On this Dwyer Crime Channel site, we typically focus on individual cases, uh, individual criminal cases and convictions. Let's broaden the focus a little bit with just a brief discussion on some issues to consider in terms of gun control. Now, we've recently had some terrible tragedies, a completely senseless shooting uh, on a college campus in Oregon. Uh, this morning, news has broken that there's been a completely senseless shooting on a college campus at Flagstaff. Right now, presidential candidate, and I'm not a supporter, understand, I'm a libertarian, right? But presidential candidate Ben Carson has taken a lot of heat for suggesting that um, students uh, at schools would be less at risk of being victims of gun violence if they themselves had access to firearms. He's gotten in further hot water by suggesting that the Holocaust would have been more limited if Jews had had easier access to firearms in Nazi Germany, right? Let me just say, because I know there's a gun control crowd, I myself was raised in a gun control family, right? My parents were very pro-gun control while they were alive, right? Let me just say that people need to understand that having airport type security doesn't work on many college campuses. I can tell you the college um, I attended had literally thousands of square miles and there's simply no way, none whatsoever, that you would be able to put a fence around that university and uh, devote the manpower necessary to actually um, police that university, right? To have students searched, um, to look into their bags, to have the kind of airport level security to make sure that no student on campus had a firearm. It's just not practical. Let me also say too that it would greatly increase the cost of college, which is already astronomical, right? You can imagine that if you have a college campus with tens of thousands of students, and there are many such campuses here in the United States, right? Tens of thousands of students who you're going to police on a daily basis to make sure that none of those students has a firearm in a knapsack, right? Good luck with that. Authorities can't even keep beer out of a college campus. They can't regulate alcoholic beverages, as anyone who has gone to a frat party or a college party knows. Right? They can't stop drugs on a college campus. Right? Marijuana is rampant on college campuses across the United States. You're telling me that they're going to stop firearm possession? Understand, too, that airports tend to be closed with limited entry points, right? At airports, if you have a plane ticket, not even your family's able to wait with you at the gate these days. You simply cannot set up a TSA setup at college campuses with any level of efficacy whatsoever. So, right, the first question we need to ask is, are the gun control measures being proposed even doable? Right, are they measures designed to actually be effective in stopping gun possession on a college campus? Or are they really more feel-good measures to make a politician proposing them look like they're stringent on crime? Right? I would argue it's the former, not the latter. 
right? Let me also make another point too. Regulating guns is different than anything else because understand, the bad guys almost certainly aren't going to follow gun regulation laws, right? They're already breaking the law. If they're coming to your house with the intention of burglarizing you, right? They're already breaking the law. If they come up to you and want to use force to rob you. Now, is society safer where only the bad guys have guns? Right? I would argue no. I think society is safer when law-abiding citizens also have guns. Right? Understand the bad guys have guns already. Right? It's only when they're met with resistance from law-abiding citizens that we can reach a no-crime or low-crime equilibrium. And I believe that's the only point Ben Carson is making, right? If you give people access to firearms, that's going to deter bad guys. Which house is the bad guy going to rob first? The house that might have guns in it or the house that the bad guy knows doesn't have guns? Right? Understand, you know, I don't want to be in the Wild West. I don't want to be on a college campus, look around and see everyone with a firearm. Right? But at the same time, what choices do I have? Because I certainly don't want to be on a college campus where some lunatic is the only person on the campus with a firearm. He's firing shots, and no one has the firepower to fight back. Right? And so, we can lament the violence on these campuses. I personally am sad that some student in Oregon wasn't able to take out this lunatic gunman as soon as he took out his weapon. Right? I feel sad that that didn't happen at Flagstaff. Right? It's not that I want a lot of guns in society. But we need to find a way to stop this violence where a guy like at Virginia Tech is able to literally kill dozens of students before anyone is able to respond. Right? So, put me among those who believes in the right to bear arms. I believe in the Second Amendment. Why? Because it's the most practical way, in my opinion, to fight this kind of tyranny. Right? I do believe that people would have thought twice in history about, you know, violating groups of people if they thought those groups were armed, right? Armed resistance, in my opinion, is greater resistance. I believe a lot of these bad guys are looking for easy targets, right? If I know you're going to fire bullets back at me, you might not be the kind of easy target that I'm looking for. If I'm trying to shoot up a college campus or engage in a crime wave in some part of town. That's how I see it. I know the issue's contentious. I know many people have very strong opinions on the issue of the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms, right? This is a YouTube crime channel. Please feel free to leave those comments here in the comment section to this video. If you want to make a video on this subject and just give us your reasons why you're, you know, 
in favor of the Second Amendment or against the Second Amendment, I hope you send me that video and I'll consider posting it here unedited on the site. Right? Not a guarantee it'll get posted, but I'll certainly consider it. Okay? But I will say this. If I'm on a college campus and some guy starts firing a gun and killing people, yeah, if a gun's near me, trust me, I'm going to try to reach for that gun to defend myself. I'm going to have no qualms about it. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.